today's quick project, I'll say quick because it didn't take very long. This is a 1980 GS550 Suzuki that I bought off my son and he couldn't get it running very well. I tracked it down to the actual ignition system. This one needed replaced. I uh, don't know what was wrong with it, but I chased and chased and chased it down. And I kind of got a hooked up to a car battery at the moment, but let's see. Oh man, it was just working perfectly. Go figure. This is how these things go. And of course, all you gotta do is tap the starter, like literally, and now it'll probably work. But it's out of fuel. Something. Seriously? Every freaking time. Nobody, no wonder nobody wants these old bikes. At least that one was running. Maybe. <sighs> Alright. Proof. It does run. I took off all the black tape, so that's probably gonna fix it. Let's see. <laughs> it tried. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, taking the black tape off didn't help. Thinking about putting more air in the tires. All right, starter fluid. Yeah, maybe. Is it really a fuel issue? No way. It's electrical. It has to be electrical. Man, I just don't believe it. No way, man. Alright. These are gone. Here's some new cheap ones. Already on the bike. Will it work? Of course not. About fell over it. Little piece of metal there. Of course she's not warmed up, but she runs. Now I gotta put black tape around all those wires. Let it warm up and uh, take it for a little ride. Around the yard, at least. I don't have any back brakes yet. To sum this up, I realized looking back at some of these videos, I didn't really tell my procedure. I found, well, it ran fine for a bit. Did not run very good. Um, and I had I had already taken all the carbs off. I cleaned them. Uh, I put them in uh, that. Uh, ultrasonic machine and cleaned those really well I was happy with them and they cleaned up nice uh, got a fuel filter put on the bike and wait can you see it that's no, right there put a fuel filter on it so I felt good that there's not gonna be any issues with the carburetion and then when it was running like kind of dirt what I tracked it down to was 
one of the coils was bad, uh, or it wasn't sparking, I'll say. And I have one of those spark things that you can put, but you can stick a screwdriver in there. You can hold the spark plug off to the side and you can try to start it and try not to get yourself shocked because that does not feel that great. Uh, I found out that one side was working. Then I switched the wires to the coil to run the other coil with one of the wires I knew worked, one of the banks that was working. And that coil was firing those other cylinders. That's when I realized that it was that electronic ignition thing. There's two wires that come out of it. Um, there they are right there. So it, you got a hot wire that feeds to both sides. And then one side comes out and sends a signal up to the coil. And then the coils have their own power wire. And then they get a little extra bit of uh, signal from here based on the magnet passing by. And somehow... I'm not exactly sure how it works, but it makes the spark uh, jump from like the capacitance of the coil. So I realized right then that both coils were okay. Well, they were sparking. So that's when I put this on. And that was the latest video was this was already on there and everything was running. I had spark. The problem was is after the bike heated up, the heat rises and it gets into the coils right underneath there. And once they get warm, they just stop really producing. They get a lot more resistant. And I searched and searched and searched on the internet, and I finally found a guy who had the exact same problem as I do, and I was laughing real hard at his uh, explanation because he was like, what in the world? I've done this, I've done that. So I felt like my carburation was good, and I felt like my electronics were good up to that point, and I had looked at all these wires and I fed or went through them. There's hardly any fuses. So I checked those out. I got one there. I got to get back um, a 10 amp that I have a nine in it right now. It seems to be working. Okay. And then today I put the new coils on and you got to hear it for the first time actually run for a while earlier today. Uh, it's not in the video, but I did let it warm up for probably 10 or 15 minutes and turn it off, started it, ran perfectly so pretty sure i've got that part figured out finally um there's really nothing to it uh sometimes it's really dumb this bike the i struggled with that for two years put it away tried to sell it got it back out i had electronic ignition on that too brand new coil pack still couldn't get the thing to run i found out that i was test lighting the terminal side of these round fuses. I test lighted the other side of the fuse, but I did not test light the little squeeze and bracket here. So I was lost, I lost connection between the fuse and that thing. And that was causing me problems for two years. So all I did is I popped the fuse out, I wire brushed that up, put some grease on it, some dielectric grease, put it back in there. I've never had a problem since. That killed that bike. That's all it was. Generally, that's all it's going to be if it's electrical. It's something stupid and easy. You just got to find it. So, yeah, I'm excited to see if there's anything else wrong with this bike, which I'm sure it is. There is absolutely no brake, rear brake right now. Um, fluid's out, so I don't know if I'm going to have to rebuild the cart or the caliper. But anyways, kind of fun. Easy project.